So this question starts off with this equation here, which I'll just rewrite over here, which is a times x plus b is equal to 4x plus 10. The question says, in the equation above, a and b are constants. If the equation has infinitely many solutions for x, what is the value of b? All right, so a couple of things. I am going to, first of all, simplify this equation just so that I have the same format on both sides. So I'm going to make this into ax plus ab equals 4x plus 10. Second of all, this idea of infinitely many solutions, right? Infinitely many solutions for x means that the left side of this equal sign, right, this ax plus ab, must be the exact same value as 4x plus 10, right? Literally the exact same thing. So what do I mean by that? That means that this ax must be equal to 4x. And this ab must be equal to 10, right? We need to have 4x plus 10 equals 4x plus 10 in order for this infinitely many solutions thing to work out, right? Infinitely many solutions means that it doesn't matter what x value you plug in, both sides of the equation will always equal each other, right? There are infinitely many solutions for x because both sides of the equal sign are the exact same thing. So now if ax equals 4x, that tells me that a has to equal 4. And now down here, if a has to be 4, but a times b is 10, that tells me that 4b equals 10. And I can divide both sides by 4. And I know that b has to equal 10 over 4. 10 over 4 can be reduced to 5 over 2. And of course, you could rewrite that as a decimal, which would be 2.5. So either 5 over 2 or 2.5 will be perfectly good answers for this question because the question is asking us what is the value of b. All right, so hopefully this explanation helped um, clarify what this infinitely many solutions thing means. It does show up every so often on the test, so it's worth knowing that infinitely many solutions just means that both equations are the literally the exact same equation.